The main thing we have ran on this machine at this point is our rocker iron line, which is pretty diverse. We've ran anything from 4340 steel, the cold roll steel, 6061, 7075 aluminum. We've had zero rigidity issues. We are machining 4340 at 200 inches a minute, fairly decent depth cuts with no chatter, and we have it in high precision mode, which normally most machines struggle with. And we used to have to hone the rocker arms in the Haas. We bore everything to size, being it's on a five axis machine, locations are within tenths of a thousandths, which stops the need for honing bores. It, it comes out of the machine completely ready to assemble. The rocker arm that we made on our Manford, we had roughly 18 minutes. In this machine, it's under 10. Hi, I'm John Kyle, owner of Advanced Product Design. We're located in Genoa, Ohio. We tried to do everything so that we get a finished part each cycle, because otherwise what we have to do, if we're running a thousand parts and you have six or seven different setups, you have to run all thousand parts through two different setups. It won't be until the third setup or the sixth setup that you actually get a finished part. In our business, that's a problem because that can delay weeks before a customer sees a part. So we've really tried with five axis machining to go every time you hit the cycle start button, you have a finished part or multiple finished parts coming off complete. The tool detection breakage has been a big help. It lets us run thousands of parts without worrying about a drill breaking and then a tap following behind it. In today's tooling with through coolant drills and everything is very pricey. So that's a big savings. If you can catch a drill breaking, you're gonna save not only thousands of dollars in tooling from breaking behind it, but you're also gonna save a lot of parts coming off the machine incorrectly. Due to the dynamic work offset, we can put this Haas riser on here along with our fixturing that we integrated to it and literally probe it. Don't have to be any spot on the table. So within, honestly, seconds, probably not minutes, we can have the part probed in, in the fixture offset, hit go, the tools are already in the machine due to its ability to have the large amount of tools it does and can be up and running. Rocker bar you're looking at, that particular setup probably has 12 different compound angles on it. Once again, in the five axis machining world, that part's able to be produced with one hit of the cycle start button. That part, I would say, in a three axis application will be well over a five hour part. In a five axis application on this style UMC, you're looking at a 45 minute cycle time. Um, the part's made out of 4340, uh, chromoly steel, not very easy to cut. The machine has no problem with it. At this point, the UMC has not been on our floor for an extremely long time. I would say it's less than a year. We probably run six or seven different style parts and with the new one coming, um, we're probably gonna switch the majority of our, our product line over to it. It's not just the machine with Haas, it's everything. They hit the delivery date, actually it was a few days ahead of schedule. Everything was organized from the people in the office calling us, keeping us up to date, what was going on with the machine. When it hit the floor, there was already set up people scheduled to do it. It was effortless compared to other ventures I've been through.